All right, my friends, wonderful children of all ages, I invite you to come and gather around for learning together time. Now we have a couple of announcements before we begin, and so let's, there we go. Camp Spirit Summer Day Camp is open. Now, we have been a part of growing this program over the last several years, and we're so excited that now there's opportunities from the tip to the tip of Vancouver Island and every, every area is covered now by summer day camp. And so there's opportunities for children all over Vancouver Island and in fact, all over the province now to be able to attend camp, which is fantastic. And so our week is August 16th through the 20th. And so registration is open, woo. Now, oh, oh, I got like a rough, oh yeah, everyone's excited. Um, speaking of camp, uh, there are a couple of spots open for youth crew. Uh, so if you're in kindergarten through grade six, you can participate in the camp, just be a camper and do all the program. If you're in grade, depending on uh, six, seven, eight, then uh, you can be part of our leader in training program. And uh, so like a junior leadership program. And if you're in grades nine through 12, you can be part of the youth crew. You get uh, training, you get even some money. We'll even pay you to come and, and be on youth crew to come and help out with camp. And uh, so head over to campspirit.ca uh, to uh, put in your application to join us. Let's pop over to the next slide there. Now, this is the thing I'm most excited to tell you about. Are you ready? Actually, I don't know if this is more exciting than Camp Spirit, but I'm just so excited about all the things happening. Um, coming up in May, May long weekend, with all the COVID protocols in place and everything ready, we can do a family camp. What? I know. So Camp Pringle, which is down by Shawnigan Lake, the way it's set up, is every family unit gets their own pod, so to speak. So you get your own cabin, you get your own dining room table, you get your own space, but we can all exist at Camp Pringle up to a maximum of 50 total. So that from 10 staff, we're 40 people who can come. And so uh, right now we have a certain price point. If you need help, we, we will not let price get in the way of you wanting to come to family camp. All of the protocols are in place. A group of churches from Victoria did this uh, in the fall and Pringle was so excellent with their protocols. And so May, we can go to Pringle. And then in October, if you want, Furcom, which you have to get on the ferry and go and then catch a boat and go to another island. It's totally off grid, also another option, but I'm super excited because May is actually kind of soon and there's potential for family camp. So. I'm excited about that. Sorry, I'm talking all about announcements. As an aside, uh, Pacific Mountain is looking for an administrator for their children and youth support program. So if you know someone in the Vancouver area who can uh, support that, please hop on over. Okay, and Children's Church at Home keeps going. If you saw last week, I was in a tree. If you didn't see it yet, go watch it because it's super fun. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I have too many announcements. Okay, youth group, March, Justice with the wonderful Jenna, and uh, it's on Zoom Thursdays, 4.30 for grades 6 to 12. Ah, okay, now let's get our treasure chest. See what's in here for today. Da, da, da. Now, we've got our wonderful purple cloth because it is the season of Lent. It is the time of preparation that leads up to Good Friday and Easter. And Lent is a time where we spend extra time in prayer, lots of time talking to God and just telling God all about our day, how we're doing, lots of time in prayer. Now let's see who else is in here. Oh yes, of course, our friend Nutso is here with us today. We love it when Nutso is here to join us. Hello. Oh. Everybody's so excited for Nutso, I'm so glad. So Nutso, thank you so much for joining us. Now we've been talking to everyone at home about this big churchy word, almsgiving. Almsgiving, yeah. It is a churchy word and it just means giving to those in need. And so we talked about bread 
uh, sharing our bread, sharing food. We, last week, you brought all those socks. I could barely hold them, but you know what? They were so excited to receive socks at the lunch club. They were gone in less than five minutes, all those warm, clean, dry socks. And so that was really great. So thanks everyone who contributed to that. Now, today we have another thing in the bin. Hmm. Oh, you have a question? Oh yeah, that's right. We do give all year round, but Lent is a special time of giving. Thanks for making me remember that. That was great. Now let's see what's in here. Can you hear that? What is that? Huh. What do you think it is? A rattle? Hmm, I don't know. <gasps> a rattlesnake? No way. Let's see. What? Sand. Oh, that would be a great guess for Lent, but no, look it. Can you see what this is? It's money, it's coins. Now, what do you think we have to do with coins here? Yeah, well, did you know that Jesus talked about money all the time? Like, all the time. Does Jesus love money? No, I wouldn't say Jesus loves money. Does Jesus hate money? No, I wouldn't say Jesus hates money. What Jesus was concerned about was what we do with our money. And so one thing that we can think about doing in Lent is thinking about money. Because actually that's what our grown-ups are going to hear about today a bit, about what money means to us. Now, Jesus was concerned about how we use our money because it's so easy for money to get in the way of the way we love God and the way we love each other. Money can just get in the way if we don't use it right. So some people can let money take the place of God as the most important thing. And you know what? Some people will even try to use money to earn God's favor, to make God like them more by how they use their money. That's not what Jesus wants. God, Jesus, God doesn't want us to give away our money because we think we should or because it's the right thing to do, but we kind of feel blah about it. And we definitely shouldn't be giving away money because we're trying to make God like us more. No, no, that's right. No, that's not the right reason. But what Jesus taught first and foremost is that we are precious and beloved children of God. So that's the most important thing. And that God loves us like this crazy, crazy, big, tippy, top, maximum amount. And there's not even anything we can do. We can't make God love us more. No, there's nothing we can do. And we can't make God love us less. We can't wreck or break God's love. God just loves us that maximum, tippy, top amount no matter what. I know. Exactly. Wow, that's a lot of love. And so then what we can do is out of our love and our gratitude, we can share because we're just so excited and we want everyone to know how God loves us, right? And so this is my challenge to you for this week. I want you to find as many coins as you can. You look in those couch cushions. You ask your parents for their pocket change. You see a nickel on the street. You pick it up and put it into a little basket or a little box. And then at the end of the week, I want you to count it all up. See how much you've collected. I mean, we're not stealing money. We're just collecting what's around and maybe taking some out of our piggy bank. And at the end of the week, I want you to count it all up and see how much you got. And then I want you to think about how you can give to someone in need. Maybe it's someone who you always see outside Superstore. Could be. Maybe you want to give to the church or give to the, the bursary fund that makes sure every kid who wants to go to camp can go to camp. Maybe you could give to the Red Cross or the SPCA. It doesn't really matter where you give it, so long as you give it with gratitude and joy and not because you feel like you should, right? So 
count up all those coins, and then maybe snap a picture of it, send it to me on Facebook, text it to me, send me an email, draw me a picture, let me know what you're doing to share God's love with the community around us. And you know what's amazing about that? When we are excited about giving, it helps us trust God. And when others receive our sharing, it helps them know that God loves them and helps them trust God. And you know what happens when we do that? We don't have to feel so afraid anymore. And so we have a great song to share about not being afraid. And when we give, we don't have to feel so afraid. So I'll turn it over to Kara to take it away. Thank you, Ingrid. Let's sing. Thank you. 